So one more thing that we can investigate as a way of comparing what happens with the round bulb versus what happens with the long bulb is maybe what if I, instead of discharging through the bulbs, I'm going to try discharging in a different way. Uh, we've seen before, like through sparks on the capacitor, that um, there does seem to be some charge stored there. There does seem to be some energy stored there. Um, those are two different statements, by the way. Um, separating those charges stores energy, um, but charge and energy are certainly not the same statement to say this stores charge versus this stores energy. But anyway, I'm going to charge through the round bulbs and we see the same thing we always see, except now instead Instead of charging, instead of discharging, sorry, through bulbs, what if I discharge through this genicon? We've seen the genicon before in unit two. So what if I discharge through the genicon? Now this genicon, I don't think I showed you before. Uh, all it is inside of here is just a coil of wire and a magnet uh, inside of there along and the the coil of wire is attached to a little gear connected to the handle so what happens then if i clip these together and discharge through the genicon oh uh, the handle turned you can see um, And you know what, just out of curiosity, I wonder what will happen if I connect the Genicon just to batteries. Oops. If I connect the Genicon to a battery, Now the battery is pushing charges through the circuit and that turns the Genicon handle. And the more cells, then the faster that turns. That's really cool. Um, so I wonder how much does the Genicon handle turn? Let's make a measurement. We weren't careful the first time, so let's be careful the second time and measure exactly how far does the Genicon handle turn when I discharge through the round bulb. So I'm just setting up my charging circuit. All right, we're all charged. Now some things I want to be careful of because I want to make good measurements, of course, uh, in order to know exactly how far did this turn, then I'm just going to turn the Genicon handle to, I just have it lined up with the handle that I hold on to. Also, instead of holding it vertically like this, or as it spins, then gravity could help it or hinder it uh, at different moments of the rotation. And I don't want that. Um, I just want whatever turning it does to be based on what the capacitor does to it. So I'm going to hold it this way so that there is no confusion about whether gravity had anything to do with how far it turned. So I've got the handle lined up. The handle is lined up with the handle that I hold and that went a little bit more than three quarters, maybe about seven eighths of a turn. So definitely less than one full turn. You can see it didn't make it back to the handle, but definitely more than three quarters of the way, maybe a little bit less than seven eighths of the way then. Um, now let's try what happens if I repeat this exact same experiment, but I discharge after charging through the long bulbs. And you can go ahead and make a prediction in your head about what's going to happen 
we know that we saw the long bulbs glowed for a longer amount of time, but we also saw that it didn't matter for charging for discharging. It didn't matter uh, for the discharge lighting uh, whether it had charged through round or whether it had charged through long. So this, I think, is going to be interesting. So we see the bulbs glow. Uh, they glowed for longer than they did before. Longer than they did with the round bulbs, but same as they did uh, when I used long bulbs previously. So let's see how the handle turns compares now. So I'm going to hold it horizontally and I have the handle lined up with the handle that I hold. Here we go. Huh. So it went around more than three quarters, less than all the way, about seven eighths. And it doesn't look to me like it's perfectly lined up, although, you know, there is a little wiggle room with this, but between three quarters and one turn, so about seven eighths again, for the long bulbs, just like for the round bulbs. And this gives us a lot to think about, and I think we have enough evidence that we can figure out maybe some solid ideas about the differences between round bulbs and long bulbs. And we'll talk about those next time. Bye.